praise Master Jesus. Yes. <laughs> awesome. All God. right. Amen. Amen. Awesome God. We just want to come and speak something really quick. I hope it be really quick. Yeah. But um, as people of God, especially um, a husband and wife that's in ministry, not even just um, husband and wife that are in ministry, but husband and wives that are living, um, our so-called Christians are living a saved life. Yeah. We have to remember that God joined us together as one. When you marry your husband, you know, we have to be as we're one, period, yeah. okay? Yeah. So when when my husband do something wrong, I should be able to say, babe, it's not of God. Not or my God. husband should come to me and say, come on, wife, <laughs> you're not doing something right. That's the reason why God joined us together because yeah. not that I'm supposed to be so submissive that I can't give my husband correction or yeah. my husband can't give me correction or women don't want to be submissive like that as well. But even the word says that uh, we're supposed to be submissive one to, one, to, to one to another. Okay. And we know as women, we supposed to let, allow the man to be the head of the household. Yeah. Okay. First God, your husband, and then you, the kids, that's how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, 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 it hurts me. Um, I was reason why, um, I was reading something and, um, the woman of God knew her husband, um, has been going to hotels and cheating and, and messing with prostitutes. And she'll call her husband all the time to see how he's doing. Uh, is he safe? And, and then he'll go to church on Sunday and he'll preach the word of God. That, that shouldn't even be happening. Yeah. And if, if it was my husband, I'd be like, no, you in sin. You need to step down. Okay. You, we putting other people in danger in a congregation. Okay. Uh, there's no need for, um, like if I was cheating, most likely my husband would get on to me. Now you don't need to be preaching the word yeah. of that. We, we shouldn't even be on camera. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, because that's putting, first of all, your spouse in danger. And not only that is putting, um, your congregation in danger. And we got to learn. That's why God wants us to humble ourselves mm -hmm. and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways. And, um, that's the reason why, you know, and we, and, um, God is our number one covering. And, um, yes, the apostles are out there to cover churches. All right. But if you don't have any of that, your, first of all, your apostle don't know, don't know everything, which he should, in my opinion, yeah. your apostle, uh, that is over your church should know every, he should see into the spiritual realm. He should know these things. So if your apostle don't know that your husband is cheating or your wife is cheating, then somebody need to correct yeah. one another. Would you like to say something? Yeah, what I want to say is this: uh, 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 what my wife is saying seems like uh, conscience has departed from a lot of uh, people, yeah. both husband or wife. Conscience, Paul said, "What is your conscience saying?" Right. Saying, can you still feel your conscience mm -hmm. if you see your husband not doing something right? And why will you allow your husband to even stand in the pulpit? Come on. To address people, not even to uh, about being a minister of God, even on, uh, as a Christian. Yeah. As my Everyday wife has said, mm -hmm. things like this, we need to stay focused and be, uh, and you know, be an example of the, of the Christ right. Jesus that we always profess. Yes. Okay. Because we can't just go out there and we answer Christians and we, you know what your husband or what your wife is doing that is not right, right. and you still. You still harbor those things in your mind. You still keep it or you still wave it right. away because you do the same mm -hmm. thing. You know, I believe if you cannot control your husband or your wife, that means both of you are in the same dirty business. <laughs> okay. That's what I believe. Yeah. But one has to rebuke one. Yes. One has to stand by the truth. One. Because you don't need to allow your husband as a preacher or your wife as a preacher to always put people in danger. Yes. Because when he he commit all this adultery and fornications and standing all that. Sin to come that, in the church. 
How can Holy Spirit of God be in the house? Right. It, you, that's why you can't see miracle signs and wonders no more in the no, church. No, there's no more in the church. You know, that's ridiculous. And that's why they run for 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 charms. That's why they run for yes. for, for a, 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 a They want for witchcraft doctors, so they witchcraft. can see those miracles in the church. So that's why they run mm -hmm. to those those things because Satan don't care if you are insane or not. Yes. He just wants you to do uh, get the sacrifice done. And he can use you no matter how, uh, you know, he mm -hmm. don't care. Right. So they're, they're, they're no now, they are now in saints. And the wife, hey, we need this money. Yes. Okay? So the the wife, because you are a, a, at home mom. Or, or you don't want to be embarrassed because your husband's cheating you. You don't want to be embarrassed yeah. or something like that. And you are good with it. You, yeah. you know, you are okay with that. Paul said. Where is your conscience? Yes. Where is your conscience? And the Lord just dropped it in my spirit again. It's a lot of women are dealing with this. Okay. Um, I remember the Lord showed me in a dream before that the the the, uh, the husband and wife they had a church. Okay. So she just felt in her spirit that her husband was cheating on her in the dream. So she followed her husband. Her husband told her that she was he was going to go to the bowling alley. Okay. So she followed her husband to the bowling alley. And she realized that her husband was having sex with other ministers in the church. Orgies, nothing but orgies going on. And she was too embarrassed to tell the congregation what her husband was doing. So she kept it a secret. She didn't even tell her husband. But she knew that her husband was dealing in homosexuality. She knew her husband was having orgies with other ministers in the church. She knew all of this and she kept quiet because of pride. In my opinion, the lady should have went to an apostle, whoever's covering your church. It should have been dealt with with the leaders. The leader should, should know something because you know that your husband needs to sit down. Okay. And not only that, the Lord was reminding me of his, the scriptures when uh, uh, the husband and wife, the husband um, and wife told the ministers of God, uh, was it Peter? Yeah, Peter. That um, when we sell this land, we're going to give it to the church. Okay. So they end up lying about it. And what happened? They dropped dead. We, we have to realize that we are one. And um, if you love your spouse, we have to tell each other the truth. the truth no god don't want you to argue god don't want you to argue mm -hmm. okay but when it comes especially when you're in leadership and you have a church it's, it's something has to come to an halt yeah. okay because he's leading or she is leading herself into destruction and things like that anything you do in the dark must come to light come so there's no reason for uh you to put shame on your family you just rather clear it up now or something needs to be Done. Done. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, this is the word that we have for you and I, as married people, and uh, as married uh, Christians. Yes. You know, to pay attention to this, believe it or not, witches know what you're doing, and yeah. they reveal it out there. You think that is a rumor? It's not a rumor. Somebody out there saying they persecuted Jesus. Yes, they did. But nobody accused Jesus of sleeping around. Nobody accused Jesus of adultery. Nobody accused Jesus of stealing. Nobody accused Jesus about all those things. So don't stop putting yourself uh, like you are Jesus. They, they persecuted Jesus. They spitted on him. They did all this. Mm -hmm. So, and Jesus said, anyone that followed me, uh, all those things will ha still, he will still, fit. no, it's a different thing. The, when the woman that caught in adultery, what happened? Jesus said, go home and sin no, no more. more. So if you go home and stop sinning, yes, when they're still uh, 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 coming against you is a different thing. Yeah. But if you are still in there, believe this, witches and witchcraft are still going out there to reveal and expose yes, what you are doing. Yeah. So if your wife cannot speak, the, the agent are still going to expose. Yes. When Satan, uh, 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 I love that scripture in, in Genesis chapter 1, uh, uh, chapter 2, when Satan came against Eve, what happened? When Jesus came to uh, God came to rebuke uh, Adam and Eve, where was the Satan? Satan flee. Yes. So, and Adam Adam got involved. Adam. So uh, we have to pay attention to this. Yes. And Jesus and also knows. and also remember. <clears throat>
<clears throat> that if women do lie on, lie on your husband or if men do lie on your wife, always remember, just pray about it. And God will reveal the truth at the end. Definitely. He always, he's Definitely. not going to put you to the shame. Women going to lie. Men going to lie. But if you know in your spirit you didn't do nothing wrong, believe me, God will reveal the truth and he will not put you to the shame. Um, you out there, you don't need to defend yourself. Yeah. If you're standing by the truth, you don't need nobody to... If they lie on me and my husband, you don't need to come we're not going to defend ourselves. No. Mm -mm. You don't need to come out there to show approve. Jesus, the Bible yeah. said, he answered no word. He sure didn't. So let God... <laughs> he didn't have that, time to explain. <laughs> yeah, let God that always fight for his people fight for you. The Bible says, I will fight your battle yes. and you shall hold your, your peace. peace. Wow. <laughs> So we love you guys and uh, we believe that this will impact a lot of things in our yes. mind and our soul yes. and bring back our conscience that Paul was asking. Yes. True yeah. love. True, true love. love. That's what true love true is. True love. True love. We love you all. Tell them love you. Love them. I love y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. <laughs> Bye. Bye.